Judy Apperson Hurst, mother of William Randolph Hearst, was a philanthropist, educator, art collector, and a forward-thinking and independent woman for her time. So it shouldn't be surprising to learn she supported women's equal rights in the field of education and career opportunities, but most importantly, self-support. Just as his mother did, William Randolph Hearst also supported women's rights, as well as diversity. He raised a few eyebrows when he not only hired Julia Morgan, the first female licensed architect in California, to build his estate, Casa Grande, here in San Simeon, California, but hired Conchita Sepulveda Chapman Bignatelli as a special correspondent and society columnist for his newspaper, The Los Angeles Examiner. Conchita Sepulveda was born in Mexico City in the year of 1888. Her father was a judge, Judge Ignacio Sepulveda, and her mother, Erlinda de la Guerra, was the granddaughter of the founders of Santa Barbara, California, which is about three hours further down the coast from our present location here at the hilltop at Hearst Castle in Northern California. Both her parents were from prominent Spanish families moving to the Southern California area from Mexico City in the 1800s. It was through this professional and personal friendship between Judge Ignacio Sepulveda and William Randolph Hearst that Mr. Hearst would come to know Conchita Sepulveda Chapman. After the sudden death of her first husband, Mr. Charles Chapman in 1925, she would later remarry Prince Valerio Vignatelli, a papal prince of Rome, thereby becoming titled and ever after known as Princess Vignatelli. Being from a family of means, she studied abroad in Mexico City, Paris, and New York. She spoke six languages fluently, and she moved among the social elite circles, both in Europe and America. Both her husband and herself were frequent guests of Mr. Hearst, and it was through this main gate that she would pass through and spend many an enjoyable weekends with her friends, starting right here in the assembly room, the social room of the house. On many occasions, Princess Pignatelli would bring her family up here to Hearst Castle to enjoy some of those weekends. Here is a photograph of her standing alongside Mr. Hearst, along with her daughters. And this would have been Christmas 1936. Working as a special correspondent, she covered the royal families of Europe, General MacArthur's return to America, and the stories of the legendary and glamorous Hollywood stars of the time. Now she said, I like the newspaper life. It was never a chore. I like people. So during her 30 years of employment at the Los Angeles Examiner, she faithfully wrote her column three times a week. Through her columns at the Los Angeles Examiner, she brought to life what the average American only dreamed of insight into the lives of the rich and the movers and shakers in society, politics, and the arts. But don't let this charmed life fool you. Like Phoebe Apperson Hearst, she was also known for her devotion to philanthropic, cultural, and civic endeavors. So we salute Conchita Sepulveda Chapman Pignatelli for her valuable contributions as a correspondent 
and an enduring female voice for Mr. Hearst newspaper, the Los Angeles Examiner. Thank you for joining me for this segment of Famous Hollywood Faces here at Hearst Castle featuring Princess Conchita Sepulveda Chapman Bignatelli. Until next time.